from an adoption special happening this weekend only to an ongoing special for all of our brave servicemen and women who help protect this country. We're going to tell you all about the amazing ways that you can welcome a furry friend into your home at a discount. We're going to tell you all about that and so much more right here on Pets on Parade. Good morning and welcome to Pets on Parade brought to you by 3TV. I'm Kelsey Dickerson with the Arizona Humane Society. Thank you so much for tuning in with us this week. Now we definitely missed you last week so thank you so much for everyone who reached out and hopefully the Suns continue their winning streak. Now on behalf of everyone at the Arizona Humane Society and here at Pets on Parade we want to wish a heartfelt thank you and say just how appreciative we are of all of our servicemen and women, both veterans and active military members on this Veterans Day. And while we're gonna tell you about an adoption special that has a greater percentage off later on in the show, we do wanna remind you that all veterans and active service members get 20% off their adoption fees all year round. And of course, it wouldn't be Pets on Parade without adorable little ones who have had great transformations. Saved thanks to all of you who support us each and every day. And if you're a fan of boy bands or classic 90s TV, then the Jonas Brothers and Xena will be the perfect cuties for you. We're gonna tell you all about them in just a bit. And of course, we can't forget our kitty friends on today's show. We're gonna introduce you to this handsome baby in just a bit, if he doesn't run away first. And we just saw the adorable trio, but we're starting with perhaps the most well-known of the Jonas Brothers, Joe. I don't know a ton of their music, uh, but I know that I'm a fan of this little pop sensation, <laughs> Lisa. Well, and I can tell you he will never be out of tune because Joe Jonas is one of the quietest pets on the planet. Rabbits do make wonderfully quiet pets, and little Joe Jonas here was in a foster home. We put all of our rabbits who were strays, um, and all of our rabbits in general, we put them into uh, fosters for the RHDV2 virus, which is a virus that rabbits can get. It's a similar to an upper respiratory infection. We make sure nobody's got it so that if you have rabbits at home, that it doesn't get to your rabbits. But he did not have it and is clear of that. He's five months old now. Um, rabbits make wonderful pets. They, he is a great one because he's very hand tame and he's been in a foster home. We are overflowing with rabbits at the moment. Joe Jonas, you'll meet his brothers later, but um, we do a great job of pairing up rabbits at the shelter and we can always use foster homes for rabbits. Most of our rabbits go into foster homes for weight gain, uh, a virus to make sure that they don't have the virus. So if you can help us out in any way with rabbits, if you can foster, or if you can adopt, or even if you wanna come down and volunteer with the critters, go on azhumane.org. And if you wanna see all of the rabbits we have for adoption, we have all of them that are ready to go now up on our website. You can check at any time. Our website is always updated. Absolutely, there's so many ways to help, not just our puppy and kitty friends, but we have a lot of critters, like you said, Lisa. Thank you for that. And speaking of helping pets, last week, AHS was proud to host the 2023 Pet Professional Guild's Homeward Bound Summit in partnership with Dog Biz. In all, more than 100 pet professionals, such as pet trainers, behavior specialists, and more, visited AHS from all over the country to participate in a variety of training, lectures, and skill labs. This special educational event focused on helping pet lovers and experts to hone their skills so they can continue to save the lives and help the nearly 6.3 million pets that enter U.S. animal shelters nationwide every year. We're so proud of the work this incredible group has done and their visit to AHS. Thank you all who participated. And now we have a little one that has greatly benefit from many AHS programs and is now a little energetic. <laughs> what do you think, Perry? <laughs> He is called the sniper for a reason. This is a guy. He's, he is a bundle of energy. He's, I, I think he's going to say like he's a boxer, but his, his coordination with the punching bag here is li he's a little off there. Look at he's he's trying to get it, but yeah. All right. Anyway, little sniper came in as an over-the-counter stray, eight weeks of old age. Uh, he was so young at the time that when he went to foster, he was still on gruel. 
He had the typical little kitty things that go on. He had some eye discharge going on, so he was on some antibiotics for that. Went into the foster home. They did a great job with him, and they said he likes to sneak attack. I can definitely see that. And like I said, that's where he got that name Sniper. He is ready to pounce on you from any angle. He was on my shoulder a little bit earlier. He is a really fun little guy. Very tabby looking, but really interesting stripes for a tabby on his body. Almost like a marble. Really, really cool looking stripes. Anyway, uh, you know, we've been touting the Toyota uh, raffle that we've been doing. Well, that's over, but we're now moving on to something even better, and it's our 50-50 raffle. I've said this many times. How many times can you donate money to an organization, do some life-saving work, but then get back like thousands and thousands of dollars in benefits? This thing usually tops out at about $50,000, so if you buy tickets to this, you could very well win $25,000. It is a spectacular raffle, like I said, the money that is raised from this goes to all kind of life-saving events, so you can get the benefit of knowing you're helping and get a lot of cold cash in your hands. Go to our website, azumaine.org slash 5050. Oh my goodness, it is such an amazing raffle, and like you said, life-saving, and you can take home so much money if you win. It's amazing. Thank you, Perry. And little Stormy here was found by a Good Samaritan in Phoenix alone and injured. She had a prop toast eye, which means her eye was injured and protruding from the socket. Thankfully, it is not uncommon to treat this kind of injury in, H in AHS's trauma hospital. And little Stormy was fixed up right away with an eye removal surgery called a nucleation. Today, we're happy to share that Stormy has made an excellent recovery and she's ready to find a loving home at AHS's South Mountain campus. Learn more about this seven-month-old kitty at azhumane.org slash adopt. And AHS has dozens of pets in need of a temporary home to continue receiving lots of TLC while they heal and grow and big, get big and strong. Now, this little one, I don't think is full grown, but on the way there, if we can get some little help, right, Carrie? She is so cute. This is Nona, and Nona is a year old. She is a beautiful pity mix, and her coloring is just simply stunning. She's almost a smoky brindle, and it, she is at one one years of age, she definitely has some good spunk to her. Nona is seeking foster care right now. She was a stray, and when she was found out in our community, she had a little bit of a limp, and so after an x-ray, indeed it showed that her leg was broken. Now, she's not in a splint, and it has she hasn't had any surgery on her leg. We're hoping that with some crate rest and quiet time, her leg will heal on its own. So we're looking for a foster for about three weeks weeks, she would be so thankful if she could spend Thanksgiving with you, maybe a little extra treats on that extra special day, but we will provide you with the crate that she needs for her crate rest, all the supplies. This little girl being a young one that needs crate rest, she's going to need some extra enrichment, so we might give you a puzzle feeder, a Kong, things that will help keep her mind busy while she's resting. And of course, the best part of having an animal with crate rest is the lap snuggles, just like we're having right now. Perfect for coffee time, for afternoon um, TV time, for evening snuggles. You know, this girl's going to melt the heart of whoever takes her. So we hope that you'll step up to foster her today. Visit azhumane.org slash foster. Give us a text or call. We're here to support you and answer all of your questions. Oh my goodness, and she has made so many friends already here in studio. So I just know that someone is gonna fall in love with that little wiggly tail. <laughs> and don't change that channel. We have another adorable foster that spent time with one of our very own POP friends. Can you guess his name? We're gonna give you a hint. You're not yourself when you're hungry. We're gonna tell you if you're right after the break. Welcome back to Pets on Parade. Now we know what wonderful foster heroes we have here on the show, and it's time to see if the viewers guess this little one's name correctly. Uh, now remember when we said that you're not you when you're hungry? Uh, what is this cutie's name, Janine? Well, what did we just finish up recently? Snickers! <laughs> I also want to say AKA Cayenne because he's sweet and spicy. <laughs> He was brought to an emergency animal clinic because he was smashed in a door. He had um, a little head trauma, he had a head bobble, he was very lethargic, he was super tiny, he was like five weeks old, and then our team um, 
brought him back to the Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital, checked him all out. He spent some time in the bottle baby ICU. And then I started fostering him because he needed some rest and recuperation. But it was actually, he wound up getting an ear infection from having his head smashed. And he was kind of deaf for a while, which was odd. I've never really had a deaf kitten before, but look at, he is, he loves dogs. He hasn't been around any other pets besides my own so far that I know of. And definitely he's going to need a family friend to play with because Spicy is like his middle name. He's very, very, I mean, every toy is like his favorite thing. But you know what his most favorite toy is? His tail. He chases his tail around and, and he just has a ball. And he is so much fun to watch, but you need to really know what you have for a pet. You need to know, is it, is it a, a chill kind of pet or is it more hyper? Or is it a dog that needs to have a lot of walking? I mean, really behavior is a key ingredient to when you choose a pet. Not just on how cute they are and how they look, but um, that is going to be definitely a, a, a must with this one because he has just been so much fun. But And if he ever starts to get a little bitey because he hasn't been around siblings that haven't really taught him what, what true aggressive behavior is, a kicker toy. This is what they will get on and they redirect to that. So the kicker toys are very important to an, a more hyperactive kitten. Absolutely, those are some really great tips. And you know what, Snickers is my favorite candy bar, so why not have a Snickers kitty? And he has a heart on his back. <laughs> oh, adorable. <laughs> and if anyone is a fan of a certain NFL team, then they might want to pay special attention to this cutie. Now, this particular team moved from Oakland to Las Vegas. Uh, Perry, can you help us with a, I just don't know what this pup could be named after. <laughs> the Raiders. <laughs> the silver and black. He is, he's black. He had a little bit of silver in here, a little bit of white tips on his thing. He's got some silver sheen to his coat. He is the Raider. He was actually a stray, but the f family that found him actually kept him for three weeks. I think that's a wonderful thing when somebody finds a doggy like this and tries to hold on to him for a while. They said that he was great in their home. He's a little bit timid. Uh, he's hamming it up for the cam right now, though. He likes you to actually be at eye level with him, which like a lot of dogs do. He's, like I said, a little timid at first. So you have to be a little slow with him, but look at him. He's absolutely wonderful. He's nine months old, so this is really technically still a puppy. And, uh, but the great thing about him is he's probably maxed out on his size. So what you see right here with Raiders, what you're gonna get. Uh, he's a wonderful, wonderful guy. Um, I just can't say enough about him. He's extremely sweet, very treat motivated also. You know, uh, Lisa talked about it, the, the number of cow, rabbits we have. We have a lot of everything right now. We just did a large scale intake over the weekend, which is gonna really tax us. We've got so many animals right now, and so we had scheduled uh, for National PetSmart Adoption Week to have uh, animals one year and older being 50% off. Well, that has changed now because uh, we we're just so inundated with animals. We're opening that up now to all animals, so all animals will be 50% off, and we're also including all of our locations. So also at South Mountain, all the animals, kittens, puppies, dogs, cats, critters, will be 50% off from November 6th to the 12th. It's PetSmart National Adoption Week. You know, the PetSmart group is so great. I volunteer at that location in, in uh, Scottsdale. The staff there is wonderful. They are very, very supporting of us. So please go over there and adopt an animal and adopt an animal from any of us right now because we need it. Right, Raider? Raider right. is Raider's ready, ready to, to dash to. He's ready. <laughs> I should just do a touch it out. Yep. It is it's fine. Here he goes. Oh my goodness. You guys, make sure that you don't dash anywhere because we have plenty of adorable pet cuteness coming up after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Pets on Parade. Now we have an adorable set of brothers with an adorable set of POP volunteers, and it is time to complete the boy band. Who is this, Lisa? Well, these are the other Jonas Brothers. Surprise, <laughs> they don't have dark hair like the first Jonas Brother. <laughs> so these, this completes the trio of our Jonas Brothers. Same story with these guys found as strays, five months old. Um, they're healthy, they're neutered, they are microchipped, and um, we can help you pair them up, and we always need help with our bunnies. But if you can't help by adopting bunnies, I bet you can help us out by eating a burger. 
Red Robin has generously donated. They're going to, um, all of their Arizona locations are going to be giving back 20% to the Arizona Humane Society on November 14th. So please make note of that. November 14th, everybody eat at Red Robin, even if you do your online order at redrobin.com. Please mention the special, and if you're actually going into the restaurant, go onto our webpage at azhumane.org slash events and take a snapshot of this photo. You need either the flyer or show them a picture of it when you get into the restaurant so that they can tag your tab with the 20% of everything you order to go back to the Arizona Humane Society on November 14th. So have a burger for lunch and go back and have a chicken sandwich for dinner and get a few drinks all to help out the animals at the Arizona Humane Society. I mean, how can you say no to bottomless fries? Uh, I think one time I actually got kicked out because we had too many of those bottomless fries. No, thank you so much, and thank you to Red Robin for helping us out. Now, we just saw Carrie live and in person with an adorable foster pet that needed your help, but now we want to show you a little behind-the-scenes behind look of a few other pets who are in need of your help today. Hi pet lovers, my name's Carrie Hughes and I'm the foster manager here at the Arizona Humane Society. And I am so excited today to show you some of the most in need pets that we are seeking temporary homes for. And this right here, this is Mayflower. We're in our maternity suites and she has two of the most beautiful little babies here. Mama's enjoying a little break away from them and is excited to get her love and snuggles, but her babies are only one week old and mama needs a safe place to stay where she can help her family grow big and strong. Now mom does most of the work. She's going to feed her baby. She's going to stimulate them and in about six weeks they'll start to wean. So we'll give you the supplies that you need to make sure that you can feed them appropriately. But about six weeks, the puppies are roaming around on their own. They're romping and playing, and it is just a whole bundle of joy and love. Right now, we have three mamas that are looking for a place to stay. And if you can believe it, our maternity suites is one of our most sought after uh, wards for our rescue partners. There are so many moms and puppies out in our community that need our help. So if you can help take some of these mamas and puppies, then we can help more in the future. We look forward to having you give us a call and we can go over all of the care that's going to be needed. I know you're so excited to get out into your foster home, aren't you? You're such a good girl. Who's ready for a bundle of puppies in their life? Are you kidding me? Look at how adorable these little ones are. These puppies are eight weeks old. And to be altered, our puppies need to weigh four pounds. So these kiddos just need some time in a foster home to grow up. They're gonna need lots of food, lots of love and attention. They might give you a little bit of a run for your money, but can you imagine all of the kisses you're going to get? Endless amounts of love. These kiddos are perfect, and I sure hope someone comes down to foster them. Oh my goodness, how can you not fall in love with those little stinkers? So cute. And like Carrie mentions in the video, we're in great need of fosters for all kinds of pets, especially for mamas and nursing puppies. If that's not quite the perfect fit for you, we have so many pets who need you temporarily, including Ricky, who needs time to heal from his amputation for just a few weeks and adjust to life on three legs. And yet another fussy cutie is Brittany, who is healthy, but just needs a couple weeks while she is in quarantine, while getting lots of TLC, of course. And for our cat lovers, Maximus hopes to have a quiet area where he can recover from his kitty cold. Are you the one to help? If so, visit azhumane.org slash foster right now. And our next pup, obviously, our next pups are obviously very fashionable. You know, we have boots over there with the little socks. And then we have a little tuxedo girl. Can you please tell us about these cuties story, Janine? We have Izzy and Boots and their siblings. They came in, they're seven months old, and they came in when, um, from an owner surrender situation where they just couldn't handle having too many pets. So, and they lived with their mom out in a backyard. So they really need to have a few little 
teaching moments. Um, they're very food motivated and sweet. Oh, they're so sweet, but they still, they don't know the, you know, what you want of them. So that's why our training classes really, they handle all levels of, of skill levels for you and your pets. And so it's all very customized for you. And these little guys, I mean, look at them. They're just, they were super hyper a minute ago and now they're just like very chill and just loving on us and just the sweetest things in the world. We love them. Um, I get a little goofy myself with pup pups, you know. But oh, just go on azhumane.org slash training and you can find the perfect class for you because that's the why you have a pet is to have this relationship. And the more that they know what you want, the better off you're going to have as a relationship for your forever friend, right? You tell them, say, I need a new home. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. And too, we want to give a special shout out to Mick, who is usually behind the scenes helping us with our pets and just celebrated one year with Pets on Parade Ooh. with us. So thank Yay. you so much to Mick Ooh. and for everyone that helps us on this show. <laughs> and now, of course, we have more pet cuteness coming up after the break. We'll see you there. Welcome back to Pets on Parade. Now, I'm not the best singer in the world, so I'm not gonna sing it, but Perry, I think we can all agree that this is just a little Barbie girl living in a little Barbie world. <laughs> You're better than me, Kelsey. I'm not singing either. Little Barbie right here, nine week old, um, came in for an emergency animal clinic and typical little kitty um, situation, really. Found in a, a dusty attic with uh, a couple other litter mates. That's, that's a crazy story. And like I said, typical kitten things going on, some upper respiratory going on, some diarrhea going on, all the things that, that kittens need. So we found her a foster home and off she went and uh, she was actually found at uh, I think three days of age. So this little one hasn't had the easiest go of it, but in the foster home treated very, very wonderfully and look at her now. She is wonderful, she is playing. She's this beautiful, beautiful smoky gray color. She's absolutely wonderful. The dogs don't seem to be phasing her here in the studio. She seems to be really well adjusted and that's what fostering does. You know, I'm a volunteer, Lisa's a volunteer, Janine's a volunteer, behind the cameras, Mick and uh, Daryl and Frank were volunteers. There's all kinds of ways to volunteer for the areas in the main side. But one of the really cool things to do is group volunteering. You can do this with a bunch of friends, you can do it with coworkers, you can do it with, uh, it's a great team building experience for coworkers. If you're a manager and you're looking for something for your team to do to kind of build some internal chemistry, why don't you have them volunteer at the Arizona Humane Society? Come on down, you can socialize with the dogs, you can watch them, you can go out and do some hosing of them and have a lot of fun in the water. You can do enrichments, you can make kitty cozies, you can just do all kinds of things that really, really help the animals. Like I say, it is a great team bonding experience. Go to our website, azumain.org slash volunteer and learn all about group volunteering. Oh, absolutely, and especially when we're going to be opening our new campus, we're going to mm. need even more volunteers than yep. ever. Thank you for that, Perry. Mm -hmm. And I can't help but to be a little biased, but this little one does happen to be named after my personal favorite 90s TV character. Uh, Xena was definitely my hero growing up, and this little one has some growing up to do, I think, Lisa. Lisa <laughs> oh, my God. Hero, <laughs> I'm sure she'll spend across the base a few times with him. <laughs> She is lovely, a little 11 week old shepherd, and I'm gonna guess she's husky in there. She's got that thick, bushy husky tail, and look at that blue eye. So um, she was 11 weeks old as a stray out there all by herself with some parasites, some ticks, and that's our specialty here at AHS. We get all of these guys all treated and so that they don't have anything by the time they get ready for adoption. So she has had her flea and tick prevention. She has had a microchip. She's all vaccinated. You'll probably need to get some boosters and our vet clinics can help you with that. We have affordable services. Uh, they do booster vaccines with no vet visit. So please go onto our website for any pets you adopt from AHS or even your own pets. Um, and take advantage of these discounted services at azhumane.org um, clinics, I think it is. Is that right, Kelsey? 
Sure. I, yeah, I think it's azhumane.org slash vet or vet clinics. Um, but azhumane.org is going to be able to get you everything that you need. And yes, the microchip is absolutely important. We've been seeing so many stray pets in our community, and it's estimated that one in three pets will go missing in its lifetime. So that microchip is the number one way to be able to get little ones like Xena back into their loving forever homes. Now, one more time, we just want to give a huge thank you and just say happy Veterans Day to everyone who has served our country and allows us to be able to help save these pets and you know, be able to be in our community um, and be safe each and every day. Remember, we have that 50% off of all pets. We'll see you right here next week on Pets on Parade.